So I got a couple of new prints. Um, this one is the fish. The, in the original copy, the moon is done in a metallic gold, and so I decided I wanted to give a gold pen a try, just to like play with it. This is what this pen looks like. I was looking for the Krylon one, um, but they only had the, the Deco color premium. This is what it looks like. It's not super even, mostly because it's a chisel nib and the mica or whatever it is that's inside of it does clump up a bit, which led me to kind of smoothing it out. <laughs> but this is an oil-based pen. The little stamens are also metallic. I just thought it would be a nice touch for this particular print. There isn't a lot of seep through, but it's not zero. So I'm thinking the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to try to gesso it first, maybe. That's adding a lot of extra work. Other mentions are the train one, a treasure hunter, a try. Just because I really like the way his eyes turned out. They turned out kind of friendly and cute. Got restock of the owls because it's the most eye-catching piece. Get more of these hummingbird ones because I really do love this. And I have the original still, and I've been showing that off. So it'd be nice to be able to be like, hey, I have a print of this. I never know exactly what to do with my YouTube channel. <laughs> but one thing that I like to do is highlighting some of the beauty in artwork that I stumble upon where I live, because that's the one thing that I really love about living in a medium-sized city, is that you can just go to the library and accidentally come across this art show. I think this one is like a postcard, mail-in postcards from people from all over the world, and I thought that was really cool. You can just wander in to any community space and find something interesting there. Here's a manhole cover that was on display where art is just found even in the street. <laughs> I always want to take paper with me so I can take rubbings of stuff. We also finally let ourselves into the Marine Building in downtown Vancouver, which is just decked out in art deco from, I think it was 1929. The attention to detail and the carvings on the doors and the grates. The floor has a weird zodiac pattern, and these elevators are just breathtaking. We were just creeping around, and I think it was an employee who was very enthusiastic about working there, so he kind of pushed us onto <laughs> one of these elevators and told us to go to the second floor so we can take a close look at the ceiling, and it is just incredible. I really love older architecture, just this idea that artists get to um, take part in such cool things and make a living doing carvings and designing little details like this that are preserved for years to come. This is this month's Patreon uh, experiment for the video I do. Uh, they turn out really freaking cool. I have a tendency to kind of go in trying new things and then feeling kind of uh, self-conscious about them because it's never going to be my best stuff. But I really love the texture of this. I love the colors of this. I love like the slightly grungy feel of it. Like look at this sick texture here. I love it. My next task is making use of this. This is a drawing I did for the vet office for their anniversary cups. Although it was originally um, a pitch for a holiday card. So this is a wreath that I'm going to make and I'm just going to like uh, digitally put them in there. I'm going to give him a tiny little hat 
I'm just going to like compile it together. I don't like seasonal holiday stuff. Maybe it's from working retail all the time, but I just don't really care about holidays. So yeah, this is the extent of my creativity is just wreaths. Here's the wreath I painted. Uh, I really got into the flow for this one. I was really feeling myself, as the kids say. I never know exactly how to approach really fine detailed things like a spruce branch. Instead of doing like what I normally do, which is like painstakingly negative painting, this is like not that. And I think it turned out. So now I think I just have to do a tiny little Santa hat. I think I'll do the background color digitally. Just because I'm not really sure what to do for that. I think I did like a pale blue. And then I'll just put the existing cat art in here. Um, and see how that looks. I just kind of want to feel like it's done, you know? This is also ironically like the worst month, October, for daily drawing. <laughs> Even though so many people were doing it and... I even had like the Peachtober as backup, but I missed a bunch of days. Oh yeah, I was watching um, Haunting of Hill House again because it's so freaking sad. And sometimes you just want to like be sad, <laughs> but... But anyway, lately I've not been posting almost anything at all, <laughs> like on social media, because I feel like I'm constantly doing things. But I think I kind of got myself into a bit of a pickle because I've been making painting and then putting it aside, like waiting for a big reveal moment. My focus lately has just been on like my gig work that I'm trying to like maintain a little bit of income. Uh, arts and crafts fairs, flea markets and stuff like that. So I am having some fun trying new things. Every I draw every day, but I haven't felt like I've had anything to post about and now I'm suddenly like overwhelmed. I have like a ton of emails of like flyers. Please deliver these flyers for this event in your neighborhood and I'm I don't know how to deliver flyers in my neighborhood. Isn't even that many. I want to say like five. I'm like I can't decide what to share, when to share it. Thank goodness that my jury duty was canceled because not like I have a ton of things to schedule or anything but like I don't know how long jury duty is. As curious as I was, I'm just happy that I know where I'm gonna be. <laughs> I just haven't been very functional. I can't make a decision. Our house is full of laundry. Ah. One new thing that I'm trying, if you are actually local uh, to here, is I put some of my calendars up at a gift shop that's at the Surrey Art Center. I really only gave them like three or four, like not very many. Like I said, I don't really have super high expectations. And the cut that they take is kind of high. It's like 40%, I think. Um, I only think that that's kind of high just because we have to be a paid member to submit things. So it's kind of like, it's like a stacked fee that makes it higher than 40% in my opinion. But I'll try it. I mean, if it ever leads to making like more calendars, um, but I don't, I don't know that it will. But it is just something that I kind of wanted to try once. Last weekend was also the opening for the petite art show for all the little mini paintings. I'm very shy and I'm not very good at like 
meeting people and getting to know people. And I didn't really get a whole lot of footage of art to share with you, but I did enjoy kind of hanging out on the catwalk and watching people um, interact with the paintings as they go by. And like, they were looking at the crow painting with the pencils stabbed into the ceiling and they would be like doing the pencil throwing motion in midair. I thought that was really funny. Thanks for watching. I hope you found something in this to enjoy or maybe some inspiration to go out and take a look at all the art that may be in your community. And if you are local and you want to know what events I'm going to be showing up at, you can sign up for my email newsletter or follow me on Instagram, I guess. Have a good weekend. Bye!